your backstage is crazy, you want to, you know, punch everyone out of your way because there's so much going on and you're trying to focus on giving someone a neat lip liner and something, you've got photographer in your face. This is my first video for YouTube and I thought I would make a video to tell you a little bit about myself, my career, what I do, and to do that I've asked some of you guys to send in questions to me so that I can answer them because it's much easier that way. My career is not just about makeup. I'm a creative director, so I work with artists, musicians, makeup brands, I consult, which gives me a much more kind of exciting foray into the creative industry. I started out as a makeup artist and I've kind of slowly changed. My interests have changed and that's allowed me to really kind of broaden up the style of work that I do. ID Magazine for the very first time was a really important moment in my life. I was working with a photographer called Matthew Stone and we were shooting the British Sudanese model Alec Wet and I did a, a big body painting piece on her and on some of the models and that was my first proper experience of working in the industry and also for a really well established magazine. Name three milestones of your career. I think Day's Beauty was a huge milestone for me and I was convinced that there was this huge gap for kind of democratizing beauty in a mainstream way and giving those who are underrepresented in the makeup world and also kind of in society a bit of a platform to showcase their work and to talk about beauty and themselves and the world you know outside of the commercial world that we know about beauty. I think my second biggest uh, sort of milestone probably would be working with Cher and Madonna who are um, I'm obviously huge fans of. I looked up to them, my mum and my sisters looked up to them, and so being trusted with their faces was an incredible uh, opportunity. And I think now working for Byredo and Burberry as their creative director and their kind of global beauty director has become really instructive in how I approach beauty these days. Oh my God, the craziest job I ever worked on was probably shooting a music video for Rihanna and Star Trek out in the Arizona desert where I basically had to repaint her whole skin with freckles and these kind of alien tribal tattoos on her face and that was the first time we worked together and I was so nervous and it was so hot and it was um, a very in extreme experience I think for everyone involved but it was really amazing. Another crazy shoot which also involved prosthetics, was working with Marilyn Manson. Um, we created some Halloween images together where I basically dressed up as a goblin gargoyle character and, you know, posed around him. And that was a, that was a, a wild experience. So at the moment I am creating a documentary all about global beauty aesthetics and identity. And the series will basically follow me around the world and I'll be talking to real people, people going through extreme and amazing personal journeys, all relating to beauty and how they wish to look. Working with Vivian Westwood is always a crazy experience. Her makeup looks, especially if her show is always really out there. The last time we worked together, she took a green by Rido colour stick and just like scribbled on her face with it. And I feel like working with people like her, who are so intuitive and fearless, really inspire me in my job. I think beauty was really defined for a very long time by the kind of elites in the beauty and the fashion industry. And they really held their ground for so many years because things like social media didn't exist. And I feel like they had a lot of power and authority in how beauty was determined. So I feel like social media has totally democratized that. So that's a bit about me and my career, and you can expect to see tutorials, masterclasses. I'm gonna be sitting down and interviewing some of the most interesting people, I think, in the beauty world right now. And um, I hope you enjoy them. And if there's anything you want to see, please comment or let me know, and I will do my very best to include them in my videos. And subscribe. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs>